What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Republic of Venice and in this episode we are intercepting and destroying uh, this Russian army, at least that is the intention. We want to use our artillery, artillery to try and destroy the Cam Kalmuks and then use our cavalry to pursue and destroy these enemies, especially to have a couple of grenadiers in here. But anyway, let's crack on because generally things are going pretty well. But nevertheless, we must always remain on our guard. So I think the overall intention with this army will be to destroy this small raiding force and then slowly over time build this up into an army to conduct some sort of offensive operations. So let's put, leave my artillery, put my artillery behind my line. Form up my infantry. Roughly disperse my conscripts on either flank. Just to maximize our muskets. Artillery focus on their cavalry. The objective will be yeah, try and knock out their cavalry. Then it leaves us open to annihilate their infantry. Although first hit was a bad miss. Let's speed up time because right now we are just going to be being fairly predictable. There we go. Now we're getting a couple of kills. The objective will be to try and cause the <clears throat> enemy infantry to break and run and then we will chase them down. Push my conscripts up into the flank of the regiment of foot. Push up my conscripts. Just keep engaging. My artillery will just keep working on the Kalmuks. Good, they are going to position within range of my infantry. Cavalry ready to deploy because that was quite rapid. Man, let's not go too mad. So there, this sixth regiment of foot may be right for the killing soon. Conscripts on the flank are a bit vulnerable. Let's withdraw both our units of conscripts here. So my hussars in against the Kamluks, my artillery against their weakest unit of infantry. A couple of hits. So my general forward try shatter the cam Kalmuks. Push the infantry forward, keep bombarding. I mean, they say they're winning. Are the cavalry that good? Send my conscripts in to back them up. Although we are making some ground up again. There we go, now they're losing. Let's attempt try. Hopefully we can shatter them reasonably quickly. Kill the enemy general. Just try shatter them. Let's 
artillery posts on the regiment foot. Excellent, they are shattered. Cavalry advance up the hill. Demon just advanced down the hill. Excellent. We want to push them away from the push them away from the uh, defenses. Yeah, the grenadiers will have done will be doing good work against my infantry. Tierski regiment of foot. Retarget the guns. Focus on the grenadiers. Okay, let's begin. Let's do a bit of testing. Sixth regiment, as they're shattered, according to some, would say that they are permanently. They will never come back. So let's try folks on the first regiment. Spin my guns around against the grenadiers. Oh, they too are shattered. Let's continue. Artillery cease fire. Actually, you folks on the grenadiers. General folks on the second regiment of line. This pathfinding is screwed up. Keep killing our grenadiers. There we go, he's worked it out now. So the grenadiers are definitely gone. Let's get the second regiment of line infantry. And then just keep on chipping away. The more damage you do, the better. That's for darn sure. Get some of our experience up too, which is always nice. One last soldier left. They have been destroyed. So in theory, there should be no one left. If shattered means the enemy is truly destroyed. Yeah, I thought as much. Okay, let's withdraw to the bridge. New man replenish. Let's get... Hold of some. I'm pretty sure lots of our jobs are already done. I mean, we're at peace with the Ottomans. Make sure you are replenishing. Because you could be used for other jobs. The Barbary States are attacking us, and that's fine. We could eventually ta attack them down the line. So we've got 6,000. Let's attempt to bolster our line in Europe some. Well, actually, yeah, I forgot about you chaps. You don't need them. I, I had the exact same thought again. Okay, let's go for some regular line infantry then for you. Well, maybe get hold of some expat line infantry. 4,900. Yes. Russia. Hmm. Two fourth rates are good, but I can't get the reinforcements around in time from here. You just physically can't reach. Yeah, two turns till you get more. We can afford to let them land and then destroy them. Or can we? I think Istanbul is one of those territories they can land almost immediately. Well, they can land and attack almost immediately, I should say. So you chaps. But... Get in. Yeah, I was right. They can. You can just land straight in there. Hmm. May mean that Crimea is a possible 
is a possible avenue of attack to try and draw away Russian effort from elsewhere. And there's Spain. Let's see if Spain is interested in peace. Peace, Spain? Peace and they offer you wedge. You want all of my tech plus my, all of my money for peace. No, I am not sufficiently scared of you to do that. 4,900... I think I want to upgrade some of the some slightly safer um, economy buildings first. 927. You're a bit delicate or a bit vulnerable, but this is why we have a garrison army. We can get over to Jerusalem pretty quick because we've got good infrastructure. Probably want to. Although we're, we're converting quite rapidly, so that should be okay. Although we can't do anything with this amount of money, I don't think. You're going to stay here just to threaten, just to hold the Ottomans at threat. We want to make sure, I mean, we are building them all in Venice. Our new artillery buildings and military buildings, because I want to get quick climb as soon as possible. Cool, let's hit end turn. Oh no, the Brits! The British are coming! The British are coming! Okay, we've got a turn to try and deal with them. It's unfortunately finally went for me. But there we go. These things do happen. But at least we do have more we have more income than we previously have. Right, okay. Um, call my allies in, because this could be a huge war. Austria refused to join me. We are back at war with the Prussians. This is going to be another period of withstanding the enemy. Poland's declared on me. Italy and Genoa have joined me. Okay, so researching... I mean, the Ottomans haven't joined them, which is nice of them. Although they may well do it this turn. No, not yet. Okay, so Russia has immediately... Yes, it's, I, I thought the, the Istanbul was like this. Um, we are defending the gates of Istanbul with a pretty kick-ass army. So let's do it. I would like to see if I can defeat them conclusively in one action. Will they make peace? But yes, all of these enemies coming in, it does mean that Quicklime is becoming a strategic priority for us. We are at war on too many fronts to have <laughs> to, to sustain this level of attrition. We may end up this force will likely end up attacking Crimea, I think. So the Russians come from that way. My guns just wait. Now it says take position to fire. So they do have artillery. So they will be capable of getting up to the mischief and creating a breach. Although the general behaviour of the AI is they, they create the breach too fast. And as a result, they aren't actually able to protect it in the way they need to. In that, you know, by the time they've made the breach, they're already pretty knackered. Okay, so got a few units of line to hold a breach in the centre. That's okay. Cavalry hold. Line infantry. I mean, you would take position in the armoury, but fire will off. General in the centre. Take some pop shots at their six-pounders. Although, actually, I may want to 
instead. Just cons, just focus on the enemy infantry. You are focusing on this section of the wall. So let's create. Well, let's get ready to form up our defensive position. hear people going, refusing to take position on the wall. Okay, just keep chipping away. They've not committed all of their troops. They still have some sat back. There with the with the uh, darker shot. Make sure you guys are all firing well off. Lots of eager troops. Guerrilla mercenaries are advancing into position. Some of our Artillery. Actually, we've destroyed our gun, a, a limber and horse, but not an actual. Not really sure about you guys. To make sure you don't do too much damage to your own guys now. Get them to attack ground ahead of our line. up position over the gate. I mean, none of our gates are open, so you're just trying your luck. Okay. Good. The left flank's been secured. Okay, howitzers start to engage their, some of their second wave coming in. Kill some of their gunners, but they may or may not disable their guns. There we go. Good shots. Give me that one. Good hits. Let's bring my general over here. and hold off the Russians because they are good at melee. If nothing else, they are good at melee. D-men engage the mercenaries. Five percent. Okay, let's get my howitzers to focus on this these units out wide rather than these because they're going to be too close soon. Foot guards, guerrilla mercenaries, where am I? I have to run my marines over here. You men keep the gatehouse secure. And they're gaining ground. You men fire at will. Engage the regiment of foot, because we need to start knocking units out now. We need to start pushing them away. You do have... do you have... no, you don't have any defences up or any... Um, you don't have any attacking or any siege equipment up. Everyone else is okay. I have to commit my marines to knock out the enemy infantry mercenaries here. 
They are running out of troops. This is what can happen after multiple sieges. You end up with units that are just so depleted. They can't, they can no longer do the job as they need to. These marines, these marines knock out, although the conscripts should deal with them. Yeah, conscripts can deal with them, keep the marines going. And the fire step and keep engaging. Horse artillery's pick new targets. The conscripts man the fire step, engage the grenadiers. Commit the marines in against the foot guards in particular. Continuing to engage the adversary on the hill. Good hits. The grenadiers are upset. Charge the enemy line. Get you men in against the guerrilla mercenaries as long as you run the correct direction. You don't have to climb down the stakes, they're right here. Kill them to make sure they do go down. Good kills. You engage the fusiliers, you keep engaging these weakened units. This is the largest penetration, but they are going down first. Foot guards are making us pay for this. Making us pay for this, but we are making them collect. Making them pay as well, rather. Excellent. So these mercenaries have managed to get their defences up, or get their um, grappling irons up. Start engaging the foot guards, there's about 50 left. Excellent. Kill them. Kill them all. Chased away. The guerrilla mercenaries, you men take position back on the wall and engage the regiment of foot again. Keep engaging the, f keep engaging the foot guards. Get as many as you can before they get away. But other than that. Take position on the wall and engage in artillery fire. Yeah, you guys might be a bit might be a bit risky to target. There's infantry. Let's try and get some of these cavalry units. Now they're starting to creep within range. You guys are going to start engaging the fusiliers. Good. There goes the Pachurski regiment of foot. Fire them off, fire them on. Usually that solves a lot of problems, just turn it off and on again. One unit engaging the Garda Cheval, and then get another unit. Keep engaging the 
enemy infantry that are engaging us. Good hits, hopefully. Excellent, because these are good cavalry units. And we're also up. Our, our artillery is also plinking the Bjorni Streltsy at range. As the 10th Regiment of Foot runs away. Excellent. Third regiment still going down. There go the Fusiliers. Yeah, Are those, those cavalry units pretty scary. Got a cheval would smash almost all of my cavalry. Shots inbound. I'm not opposed to them to them getting a breach, because breaches can be quite good to defend. Especially if it means if we can keep doing damage to their cavalry forces. Fusiliers are back. They want some more. 74th Regiment of Foot. Yeah, they're getting shot already. Just give up, you scallywags. But they're slowly creeping towards us. Bit of a whiff there, he got one. I thought they were actually going to make it to the wall this time. Seventh Regiment start engaging the 54th, chase them away. I think for the most part we're going to speed up time because it's just a question of my artillery forcing them to run away. There we go. You're going to start dropping dropping shots onto the 54th, although they are slowly getting picked off. First horse guards. I mean, if, if they get when they get close enough to the 25th regiment, turn throat will off and then back on again. There we go. Now they're in trouble. So you start engaging the 6th regiment. Same again, I guess, because right now not a lot's going on. God, that's a load. Of, that's a really good hit. How are they still here? 53 troops, they're getting hit by howitzer fire. Horse guards, understandable. They're just bugged out, slowly advancing towards my line. Cavalry, oh god, they've been obliterated. They finally had enough. I mean, at a certain point, my cavalry has to come out and play. to round shot, engage the regiment of horse. Forty three cavalry left. He's supposed to round shot to pick up their cavalry. We caused their no, their cavalry is still just kinda hunkered down range. Yeah, so we're just gonna knock out of their cavalry. They're gonna break. Yep, they're broken. Yeah, just end it there.
good victory. Although the question is, where will they go? They have 700 men remaining. Obviously, they route in the most unhelpful direction. Towards Anatolia. So we may end up having to raise raise forces in Ankara to prevent its capture. Or we could just pursue them with our army from Istanbul. I think that's the logical option. We do have reinforcements nearby, but I don't think they are enough. George is clearing out the Dutch. So the main thing is going to be... Well, we've got a lot of... Uh, Prussian troops on our front line. What happens with them? That's going to potentially be a bit weird. 14,000. So you've raided the mines. Into the mines! Form up on the bridge, because it is the best possible position for you. Enemy raid. Salzburg, yeah, that's both of those. We're not going to do much against them. Although, eh, I was about to say, their armies are reasonably depleted. They aren't. If I had quick climb, I'd be so tempted to go on the offensive right now. Naval shore facilities has been researched. Okay, Konya, you need to get on with the something a bit more directly helpful now. Because we are now no longer just... We're no longer um, <laughs> worried about a hypothetical war in Europe. We have actually got one. Get cadenced marching. I mean, I know we've always been at war. There's always been a war in Europe. But what I mean is we haven't previously been so worried about getting caught out. Ah, we can't actually cross the strait because of the presence of that Russian fleet. Trixie... You men recovered to Ankara. Ankara. Get a turn's worth of extra units recruited. And let's pick up a general. We're likely to get some... They are likely to do some damage here. Recall the militia. Because otherwise they'll just get destroyed. Signore. I mean, you guys. Okay, well, yeah, you guys are just going to. You're going to uh, retrain. We've got the British down here, haven't we? Okay, I may actually recall you because you. Good idea, but I think we can't afford to have too many. Um, um, too many units just kind of sat around not doing things. You, uh, the assumption is you're going to come for Cairo. Let's collect a selection of troops. Because then with them we could easily face them down. Terence Bacon, we've got your bacon. Lots of regiments of our regiments of cavalry should be okay let's move you over to Jerusalem just hold it conversion in general is going okay we can't deal with their navy Russia let's see if Russia go okay right Russia What about peace and rights of man? National debt, rights of man, car shot for peace. I think that's a damn good deal. Damn good deal. In which case, then we can cancel this recruitment. It's not great to give them so much technology. I'm very much on board with that being a bad idea. 
but it does mean we can somewhat shorten our lines and say, right, you come up here. Avanti, immersa. One more turn, then we're in position. Then we can potentially take the war to the Prussians. That would definitely be a good idea. Um, I'm concerned about Vienna's public order, so I might preemptively recruit some Dragoons if we are going to push. And some infantry. Because we need to... Oh, wow, we just need to do some damage to them. And get to get to quickline because we're building the. Ultimately, we could get it reasonably quickly. Two turns until it's done. The British are concerning, but we got a full garrison here, and a decent number of solid troops, so we should be okay. You don't worry about the militia. Okay, actually, you might be okay. I do want one army somewhere around here. Newman Garrison. Istanbul. 2,000 cash. Okay, let's take our smallest unit of, of um, conscripts. Use them to bolster everybody else. And then get rid of them. Pick up a unit of infantry, just regular infantry. We'd start taking the war. Trabant cavalry. Wonder if. I mean, I know Britain won't go for it, but if I say let's just peace out. God damn! Then let's trade. Cancel that recruitment. Okay, so the situation's done a done quite a decent turnaround here. Um, you may actually stay down here because three decent armies is pretty good. Let's go for. 4,000. That's got to be... I mean, I might recruit or upgrade the military production building in Damascus. I'll go for more. Weaver's Cottage is quite good because it's only 2,000. Can we get some more cheap economy buildings? I don't think we've really got them anymore. Let's... I mean, a peace with Spain would be great. We could do it. But I think we are okay. I mean, I might hold on to it for next turn, just to see what... Although... Do I just sink... Well, I was about to say, do I sink it into... I mean, no, no, it's not sinking it into anything. It's... You're going to join the garrison at Istanbul and be ready to be redeployed. Limassol... Buy a fifth rate, I suppose. And then you buy a light galley to replace the sixth rate. That's down in Gaza. Cool, so next turn we're going to get Puddling Furnace and Classical Economics... On for 14,000 next turn, which is pretty awesome. Oh, that's right. Clear out the Barbary States. Perfect. That's really good. I'm going to take that. Because we were allies before. We can be allies again. And they're going to give me a tech that I'm not super close to researching. If 
you come drift anywhere near my territory's pressure, I'm going to force you to attack me. Here come the poles. Oh, lots of poles. Very well. They may sense a weakening of my front. The Ottomans, that is. It's unfortunate I had to give the Russians so much technology to make peace, but I think it's very, very important that we did. Especially if the Prussians and the Russians are... Uh, and the Polish are electing to not attack us, unless they... Ooh, there's a risk they threaten to attack us at the same time. The Georgians are on the march. The Barbary states look like they're going to send some guys to raid... Western Egypt, which is super frustrating, but there we are. Yes, because I just don't want the hassle. Okay, this is going to be... Okay, you're going to have to go here. Pronti e in attesa di ordine. If you go to here, there is an angle for them to get to the city, so that's no good. There is a risk that we're on for a huge battle right now. That's really not good. You can't get there in time. You can get to the southern, southern front. These guys position here to try and support both. Giancarlo, Vito... They just need a lot of infantry. A lot of just anything I can get over to them. You may have to come over here to support these armies. And then I want you to push up to try and control this bridge. Konya. You were on cadence marching. Let's get you on with four field crop rotation, I think. Trade with Russia is good. If I can just piece piece out with one of them, Poland or Prussia, that would be something. Iron workshops upgrade. Actually, you're, you're quite good there, actually. You're close enough to the action as it is. Oh, this is, this is very, very, very not good. Even troops from here don't get up to Venice fast enough. Just want you to churn out as many infantry as you can in one turn. Let's upgrade the roads in Vienna to try and get our strategic mobility back up. We are one turn off of army board, two turns off of gunnery school. Because we need to build the army board. Well, we need to build the gunnery school, then build the ordnance board, so we're a lot we are actually a lot further off than I thought than I thought. Oh dear dear dear, this could be bad. Yeah, 
I'm going to need to really focus my fire to just cause as many units to rout as possible. And the danger with being attacked by two separate factions is that they can both enter the field at the same time, so you can get overwhelmed. The benefit of having bridges is that, well, it potentially allows you to funnel them. But that's not a guarantee. They can come in from two sides of the river at the same time. They are content to raid, seemingly. But not do battle. Okay, Poland, they've split their forces, which is beneficial. See, if I was covering that bridge, I could have lured them into a decent bridge battle. That didn't happen. So instead, I'm going to fight them, force that army east of the bridge, and then fortify my bridgehead. See, now we're trading Russia. We have no incentive to go to war with each other. Everything's fine. Yeah, steal my tech, Russia. That's cool. Right. I think that's the way the way forward. Keep recruiting near both of my um, frontier cities. Squash the... I mean, I really hope you don't come after us, Georgia. I might try to make peace with Georgia just to make them chill out. I'm not interested in fighting Georgia. I have no, no quarrel with them. They can keep doing whatever they're doing. And that's just fine. That's ex they were exactly going to my frontier. Tenanted farms. Kimina, Georgia. Peace. 12 grand for peace. Terrible deal. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But it stops this from being a problem. Whatever this... Oh no, I suppose it's not a bad... It's not too terrible considering I've got so I got something there to deal with it can you, you can take deal. this infantry unit we can attack Miron Balkovic force him east of the river it's a new man here you can bolster both fronts so Verona's gone on to citizenship, maybe go for secular humanism just to cut a bunch of religious unrest, although... Yes, yeah, that's okay. Light infantry doctrine, great. Gets us some cool things. Probably not going to do a lot of upgrades for the... Uh, big port but let's push you to i mean if they intercept us that's fine although i might actually conduct a bit of a switcheroo because line infantry well conscripts are still useful in a garrison fight but they are less useful Ooh. that's the right entirely the wrong army i sent to do that you were the one I meant to send. Engage him. Force him east of the river. Force him east of the river. And then we've got the army coming in from the south, which will hopefully destroy them. But yes, if I can... Uh, when I've got access to quicklime, it is going to be... My modern university is going to go for it to really drive down the, uh, the research time required. And then we can go on a bit of an offensive. And just start cracking open our the enemy. How it says for artillery rather deploy on the flat ground here. How it says engage. And the advantage of line infantry guards is they're all one. They're all the same uh, infantry size as my regular line. We're not going to hold back. We are going to advance. Heavy cavalry on one flank. Missiles on another. General behind the line. Howitzers start cracking open. 
some of the enemy infantry. My full artillery can just engage whatever targets they see, they believe is necessary. And we've got a bunch of their troops are hidden. Skirmishes hiding somewhere. As units become not charged. Okay, first of all, you men advance, secure the hill, heavy cavalry push out. Form square again here. units get out of square charge the guerrilla mercenaries because we found a pocket of them let's bring my general out here these polish triban cavalry which look pretty pretty neat aren't neat enough Advance up the line. We're unsure where lots of the enemy forces actually are. Keep slamming shells in around, around amongst the centre. Okay, they're shattered. Let's go after the general's bodyguard. Cavalry go for the war band here. Okay, they're charging us in the centre. Where it is, we've advanced to point blank range. But we're letting them know what we think about that. Sue the enemy general. Line of just reload, blast them. These are marines. You may need to fire as fast as you can. You're pursuing the enemy general. Advance up. We've killed the enemy general. Get my heavy cavalry. Attack the Irregulars, they're going to shoot at you anyway. Howitzers, engage the Engineers on the flank. Let's commit my General into the fight. Human advance. Shattered. Enemy grenadiers. The enemy army is in flight. Bring my cavalry in. Send my heavy cavalry up here to preempt these chaps. My cavalry smash the blend of our shotgunners. There we go, mass route. Axe 
so let's kill the last of these grenadiers. My general is going to be under fire. Chase down the line infantry rather than the blunderbuss shotgunners. Chase down the marines. There's only there is, well, there are not very many of them. There we go. The irregular the mercenaries are going to break soon. You might have to both focus on one unit of. Although you know, you guys go after that unit. Killing Polish elite troops is great, regardless of the the outcome. We'll show them what it means to make war against us. Looks like that's them gone. You've got to. There's a couple of marines here. Continue. Wipe out as many units as possible. You may be able to force a piece from one decisive action. Hillary, ceasefire. Four infantry here. You go after the engineers, because you're coming after the gunners. Excellent, that's them dealt with, and then it's all on these guys, but think they will successfully escape. Rats. Just these guys left on the map, but they are yeah, they are also gone. Well, that was quite a quite a spectacular victory for us. They have 500 men remaining out of more than nearly 3000 troops they had deployed. Take position on the bridge. Plant your feet and say, "Okay, Poland, do you want to try again?" Nope, apparently not. They're ready for another one. Let's form up and see where they move before making our decisions. You need to run over here pretty rapidly. Other than that... Beirut's upgraded. Okay, let's try and knock out a few more Industry building upgrades. And also try and continue our road building. Because we may end up needing to, well, keep firefighting around the patch to keep ourselves alive. Graz has got on with steam engine. Bad call. Come with diamond formation just to increase our command with leading cavalry units. Crewman report. Yeah, I'm not worried about the building being sabotaged. Our, gen our, our government is okay. Let's hit end turn. Are the Royal Navy going to make a comeback? It's only a matter of time before Spain comes after us. We're being attacked from somewhere. I I think. Okay, I might want to withdraw from that because I need the 
It's a it, potentially a bridge battle, but it may get a bit messed up. Um, I might want to withdraw from that. I need to fortify the Venice garrison and potentially get ready to push west against Spain. It was unfortunate that I had to withdraw, but I think that was the smart call. We did not know. Well, the challenge of those sorts of battles is that if they came in from the opposite side of the river, it'd be perfect. But the AI is usually quite tricksy and it tries to desperately not do that. And you, you get random battles where you get you're trying to defend the crossing plus your own side at the same time. So let's build, let's bolster the garrison of Venice just to keep Spain scared. Georgian Navy continues to grow. States can do whatever the Barbary States wants to do. Unfortunately, they have chosen to block our trade. So, something like that, just to keep them scared. Bolster the reinforcements. Potentially goes. Oh, intercepted. Nope, don't want to be intercepted. Very bad decision there. I believe you are in a position to support Hungary, but right now, a couple of dodgy retreats and things are not good. I think you need to try and loop around. You need to present a Credible target. We need to recruit a bunch of extra infantry because you are now well out of it. Well, they're not all of you. No, one of this is the one conscript unit that was already here. Got a lot of rain. We've got a units, a lot of units that can that will be able to hold, especially if they're going to go for lots of cavalry like this guy. I think. All right, now let's see if we can. Sometimes it's worth taking the punt. Sometimes they go for it. No, nope. sadly, not in this case. 8,000, let's get on with upgrading. The Ordnance Board does not be four turns till we can even start researching it. Even with Verona, it's six turns. Ten turns to quick climb. Yeesh. You may have no choice but to try and engage... These are going to be some big calls. I could potentially be on for losing two big armies here. But let's go for it. Big gamble. Big gamble. Are they going to go for it? If they don't go for it... They went for it. And they're calling in... One... Two plus this army full of cavalry. They'll start to slowly get full of um slowly start to get full of artillery. And some of these units are a bit small. Like lot there's lots of cavalry. Once we create once they create the breach, or do we create the breach, that will be fine. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the defense of Hungary. Cheers everyone.